Another one, another one, another one. Yo, what is up, y'all, man? Welcome back. As you can see in this video, I'm gonna be going over stretch big, man. One of the most, I don't even like using the term cheese, but it's one of the most cheesiest archetypes in the game, you know, with the quote unquote, I'm doing the quote unquote air finger. Like terrible shot contest this year. I never really had a problem with it, and I believe it's just because of my build, but I say that though, and I play with my pure sharp and my other player. And I never have trouble contesting shots. But for you guys who have trouble contesting shots, man, inside scoring bigs like a pure athletic finisher is really the kryptonite to stretch big. As you've seen, I'm forcing them on a rebound. They can't get no rebound. Can't defend me under the basket at all. And I would say this applies to most inside scoring bigs like post scores and low, you know, hybrids like post scoring athletics and uh, post scoring rebounds and stuff. But those post scoring, like, Athletics and post going rebounders and, you know, any other type of inside big, they are too slow to guard them at the three-point line. They get left-righted so easily, and only a player like a pure athletic can keep with them, like, side to side. And you will see that in this clip, in this video. But I just really want to stress, like, how good the uh, pure athletic is at neutralizing what a stretch four does. People like hate playing with inside centers this year because the scratch primary is so popular. But man, if you have a good inside player like me with good IQ, you will win like all your part games, bro. Like that's just too big of a mismatch. Me guarding a scratch, a scratch four or a scratch five. That's just too big of a mismatch because they can't score on me and I can score on them with ease. Like you will see that throughout this whole video. Like and I and I can defend them. Like being able to defend them is is really a key part because even if I get screen, I can fight. I got silver defensive badges. Like I can fight through screen. Um, my dude's long enough to to jump through and contest shots. He's not. They're not hitting any of that contested bullshit over me. So, but like I said though, people think I'm uh judging just my defense on scratch bigs off of my uh off of my pure athletic. But even when I put my sharp, my pure sharp shooter who's a shoot a smaller shooting guard. I still don't have that trouble really with the uh, the shot contest, man. So that's just something I just haven't struggled with, man. 2K is different for every person who plays it. Everybody plays differently. So that's why when it's a big problem or something like that, I don't necessarily just blame the game because, I mean, we all play different because, like, it's a lot of big problems that I haven't even experienced yet in 2K that people say go on. So, I mean, different experience for different players. But I'm just showing y'all, man, look at how easily I – just drop step him out of the way. A pure scratch, a scratch, anything like shot creating scratch, post scoring scratch, defending scratch. They're not gonna play no type. They're not gonna get any rebounds. They're not gonna be able to play any type of defense on me, man. Like I, it's it's a proven fact. Like I can just easily manipulate them down low. I can. I'm too fast for them. Even the ones that are like minimum weight and minimum wingspan and minimum height. Like I'm still too too fast for them because of my archetype. 
like that speed is what really uh separates my advantage over the other inside bigs advantage because the post score is not that fast a post scoring rebound is not that fast a post scoring you know athletic is not that fast anything like slash and secondary and stuff just it just isn't fast enough to keep up with them and uh and beat them in the transition because i see a lot of guys who could just bully stretch down stretches down low not even be able to keep up with them like on the left right stuff so that's where it's that's what separates us and and the, uh and the rest of the bigs the rest of the inside scores you know the athletics and the inside scores like slashing like primary and with a, another type of hybrid thrown in there you know, it's a bunch of different variations you can get with the, the inside build because it's only post scoring and finishing around the rim. So, and I mean, I can't count shot creating as an inside thing, but you know, some guys like to make shot creating post score. So I would classify them as the inside since the inside post scoring is primary. Look at how like I, I chase down like even when I'm on beat like on the left right stuff, I can easily recover and get back to them because of the speed. That's why I love. I love the pure athletic, man. I love, like, the defense. Like, the defense really caught me by surprise this year. Really caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting him to defend as well. The way he defends the perimeter, like, and the inside. I really thought he was going to struggle inside, but he hasn't struggled inside at all. And I was expecting good perimeter defense because just because of my defensive IQ. But actually, that's even better than I expected as well. So it's just a huge plus, man. And think about when you're playing stretch bigs, bro, they are always so so relaxed. They don't have to worry about anybody scoring on them or anything like that. Look at that. Get yammed on. But uh, they don't have to worry about anybody scoring on them. But when you're playing on the inside big like me who can score and defend them, that just demoralizes them, bro. You have to take them out of their game or else you're going get, to get busted up. Anybody can play well when they're scoring and their man isn't scoring, bro. You're not putting any pressure on them. You have to put that pressure on them, man. You got to get your guys you're playing with to get you the ball. And just take them out of their game because they're going to be thinking about, man, he's they're going to try to match you. Like, and once they're trying to match like everything you do, that's when you take advantage of them because they start jacking up stupid shots because you're scoring and they're not scoring. They're trying to make the stat sheet look good. And you got to remember, man, every time a stretch hits a shot, that's three points. They mostly shoot threes and they're going to uh, stuff the stat sheet more than you. Like, if, they, if they're scoring and you're not, you got to remember that. So, if you can knock them off their game or you can match them with uh, and get your teammates and get you involved. And match them on the stat sheet, you will get them forcing stuff, man. I swear it never fails. I mean, I even I check my two K card all the time. Well, not well, not my two K card, but the uh, the stat sheet card or whatever you want to call it mid game to see how I'm doing, how if I'm shooting well or how many points my man got. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't check it because you can get a little demoralized if you check the card and your man has so many points you don't have anything, even if you're winning sometimes. And that and if you can can match the stretches. And get involved and get your teammates to get you involved, you will uh it will definitely uh knock them off their game. But uh I've included this clip of me playing against uh a, a two way just to show you guys how I how I play against two ways and stuff. I try to I don't play against that many of them, but whenever I do play against one of them, like a some type of rim protector or lockdown or two way, I try to include that clip as well, even though that's way off topic of what this video is about. But here's another scratch though. Uh my main advice to, you know, stop them on the three point line is you just gotta fight through the screens. Like don't leave it to your uh to your guards to to fight through the screens. I know everybody don't play with a, a guard that knows how to to switch or knows how to to gauge whether or not you can fight through the screen or you're stuck on the screen. But when I'm playing against like scratches though, I don't usually I don't get screen like there's nobody out there to screen me so yeah like probably on the twos like the guys on the twos y'all probably had to watch out for that because they don't because like they like to run the, the glass cleaner and the and the scratches on the twos and i do have some video clips of me playing the twos against that that uh cheese ass little lineup and i won like some guy was arguing me down that the shot contest is just so broke but i had my pair of sharpshooter who's, who's only like six five so um uh, and I was able to contest the stretch even and I was able to fight through the screens and contest the stretch. So I will uh like update y'all on that, show y'all that clip so I can show y'all that the that the uh the shot contest isn't as broke as you think it is. You just have to you just have to be there, man. You gotta make sure you put your hand up every time. I mean it is kinda lame that sometimes you forget to put your hand up 
And even though you're like right there face to face with the guy, he makes it. But that's ever so often. I mean, it, it doesn't happen all the time that they make those shots. Like I believe people see them, see scratches and and uh, all the other shooter archetypes make these contested shots, and they just think that oh, the game's broken, two K. Like I get sick of that, bro. It's only one shot. It's not gonna make it. That's not a hundred percent shot. And it proves it if you keep playing defense the same way. But now nah, you want to chalk it up and say that's the game's fault and just stop playing defense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work like that, man. You got to keep on playing D. But if you if you get the scoring on these these score archetypes, you'll you'll just take them off. Their, like I said, you'll take them off their game, bro. Because they don't have any defense. They sacrifice that defense for that ability to hit those threes and the score like they do. And they can't do anything really besides the. Besides the three pointer, but I will say this though: when you play in the stretch, like they have a weird like first step. I don't know why two K gives them like that quick ass first step when they're driving to the goal. So sometimes they'll catch you off guard and drive past you. But that's like I said, that's that's a that's really like a, only like a one time thing. Even when they do that, like you're gonna be you're gonna be looking for it the next time, so you'll be on it. So man, don't let these. Don't let these scratches hype y'all up and like you can't defend them or you can't score on them because I I do them bad every time I play them, man. I do them real bad easily too. So oh, that's just like me and my I've been playing with uh my subscriber said he's been playing with his big man at center and I've been playing at power forward. And like guys always say you shouldn't play with two inside centers, bro. But we dominate down there with two inside centers because somebody always has a stretch and either I have the mismatch or he has a mismatch. And you just can't you can't you can't play like that, bro. Because we both have IQ. We can we can fight through off ball screens, on ball screens, and we can defend the, the three pointer. Plus, we got a defensive mismatch. That's just that's just not gonna get it with us. Like you you can't come down there with a stretch. You're gonna have to have some type of super team at the one, two, and three for in order for us to get beat by a team with a stretch bid because whoever's guarding that matchup, either is either they're on me. Either the scratch big is on me or it's on said. I mean, it's just barbecue chicken. Like <laughs> every time it never fails, man. Every time we load into a rec game, we look at the uh the matchups and we see a scratch. Like even I see even like shot creators and stuff at the four now. And I'd be like, man, it's just barbecue chicken, bro. One of us got barbecue chicken. We just gonna go to work down there. And we have IQ. We don't clog the paint up for each other. We always free each other up. Even when the paint is clogged up. We still finish, and if he miss, he, I get his offensive rebound, and if I miss, I get his offensive rebound. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some video clips of, of us playing and uh playing together on the reg though, because I really want to make this a little series about why I think a pure athletic finisher is a good build to make, to, as as a uh, as opposed to the shooting like primary archetypes and the post scores and the the whatever's in the glass cleaners. I don't think you should make I don't think you guys should make glass cleaners, man. Glass cleaners are straight tools. Like they're flunkies. Like you don't you don't get no credit for getting all those boards and those offensive boards and offensive rebounds. You don't you can't score. You only look to do one thing. You're basically a role player. A glorified role player. Get off me, man. You're basically a glorified role player playing with glass cleaners. So I don't recommend you guys making glass cleaners. They're useful. They're cheese. But I I don't I don't I don't recommend that, man. If you want to have fun, don't make a glass cleaner. That's all I'm saying, because you're not going to have that much fun playing with one unless you like being used. You're basically just being, you're disposable. Like, you see the little communities and stuff, they're like, need a glass, need a glass. They only need you for one thing, that's to grab rebounds and clean up their mistakes. But I guess that's what glass cleaners are for. But here's me in the wreck. And in the wreck, we was playing a really good team. And just simple, the simple fact because they had a stretch, we was able to to just knock them off their game because they couldn't defend it. And you know it's hard switching people on people in in the rep because you can't actually do it. You can't actually like manually switching switch anybody, and like the arrow goes right to him. They tried to switch a glass cleaner to me, but he was just too slow, as you can see. But yeah, it really broke them down. I'm sorry for how long I took on this video, guys. Man, it's been hard like editing and stuff recently. I have my controls all jacked up, but thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. Chris K, let it play, boy.